Alright guys, so today I'm back with another very cool video. Um, I just want to say, you know, I hope you guys had a really nice Christmas or holidays, whatever you guys are into. I just hope that you guys had a good year um, and looking forward to a better one. So anyways guys, here is the trick and here's how we'll begin. Alright, so basically, you know, you can just go up to your spectator and tell them what you're going to do is before you started the trick, you've kind of made a little, um, a little prediction. So what you're going to do is have them cut the deck okay so you'll have them cut the deck somewhere um, and you say look I just want you to cut you know a small packet you know of cards off the top okay just go ahead and cut a small packet of cards so for instance let's say the spectators cut like you say a small packet of cards and you'll say okay just go ahead and hold on to that for me and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try and break up the deck a little bit further and this way we can make um, a few decisions right so what I'll do is just kind of put down a couple cards or so um, just kind of feeling out the deck, seeing, you know, I'm just trying to figure out, you know, where this card is, because I do have a prediction. Um, so as I'm going through, we're going to try and figure out a couple things here. So you've cut your pile, and as we get closer and closer, all right, so that seems pretty good. We have around three different piles of cards. Now, what I want you to do is go ahead, and with these two piles, I want you to just go ahead and just you know put your finger on one of the piles, all right? So go ahead, let's say you wanted to touch this pile, for instance, okay, so go ahead, push this packet away, okay, we'll throw this pile out of the way, and we're gonna be left with this pile, all right? So you cut this pile, you know, from the top of the deck, okay? You know, we can kind of mix it up a little bit, and uh, here's what we're going to do. So let's say we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards, right? So, you know, you had the choice between two piles, okay? You threw the other pile away, you cut this one with your hands, and I believe we said we had eight cards, right? So four, we had eight cards that you've selected. So if you go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the eighth card here is, and I promise you, without a doubt in my life, this is the two of clubs, right? Take the card out, show it to the spectator. It is the two of clubs. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, everybody. So I hope you enjoyed the trick. Um, I think it's pretty cool because, you know, you can do this anywhere and it's, you know, a very simple prediction effect. Um, but essentially, all you have to do is know the card in the 21st position. So go ahead and take 20 cards, okay? I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 cards off the top of the deck. And in this case, we have the King of Hearts. All right, so this is gonna be your prediction. That's the 21st spot, and you have 20 cards going on top. Boom, that's the setup. Um, you can do whatever kind of false cuts you want. And from there, you are ready to go. Just kind of lackadaisically, while you're talking to the spectators, maybe telling them, look, you know, I'm going to do, I have a little prediction in my head right now. You do a couple of these false cuts and pretty much make the spectator, you know, think that the deck is getting mixed up. Bottom line is, you know where their card is. Uh, the first thing you do is you tell them, look, just go ahead and take, you know, a small portion of cards off the top of the deck. So realistically, what you want them to do is pick less than 20 cards. So if they pick this much, it's good. Um, if you see them pick up about half the deck, just say, no, you know what, let's uh, let, let's do a little bit of a smaller portion, right? Just kind of, you know, it's not going to work if they do less than 20. Or, I mean, if they do more than 20. So they take, you know, a small portion of cards off the top of the deck, let's say here or so. And, you know, you say, all right, why don't you just go ahead and hold on to that for me? And the next thing you have to do is, you know, just make up patter while you're speaking and deal out 20 cards. So, you know, while you're talking to the spectator, it's not too hard to talk to them and then put piles of five at a time. So you do five and then you do another pile, you know, a five just while you're talking. Um, in this case, we have 10 here. And then you do that all the way till you get to 20, right? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 cards. So we have a total of 20. And this is what you're left with. You left one pile in the middle and then two piles up top. Now at this point, all you have to do is remember which pile they picked and which pile was the leftover. So in this case, this was the pile that they cut from, and this is the pile that just was the leftover card. So you have to make sure and that they that you end up with this packet. So you tell them, listen, um, go ahead and touch either one of these decks, okay? So we're gonna, we're gonna nail this down to two, right? If they put their finger on the deck that they cut to, that's perfect. Say, okay, look, that's the deck we're gonna keep. 
if they put their finger on the other deck, say, okay, that's the deck we're gonna get rid of. So it's a magician's force, whatever it is, you know. So you take that pile away, and then this is the pile of cards that they cut to. And from here, it's, you know, it's self-working. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards down is their card. So you start from the top card here, you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the King of Hearts is in the 10th position just like that. So I hope that everybody enjoyed um, the video, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, and as always, everybody, thanks for watching.